Adventure Time Distant Lands is the brand new sequel series to the Cartoon Network classic, and we finally got our first official trailer of what to expect. In April, there was a nice 15 second clip to get fans excited, but honestly, it showed pretty much no new content. Everything's different this time around as episode 1's release date comes closer, so let's take a look and go over what you need to know. We actually open up with the same exact teaser from before, except right after Finn and Jake fist bump, the text Max Original pops up. Yeah, if you weren't aware yet, Distant Lands will mainly be be available on the streaming service HBO Max, so you might want to subscribe to that. We open up with ominous shots of space, unsure of what's going to happen next. Then, it's time to be introduced to this whole new disaster outside of the land of Ooh, somewhere far away in the universe. In the midst of all this panic, there's a new bunny character. You might recognize her from the first poster for the sequel series. She's floating in space and just having a great time. After watching her run away from a confrontation, we finally come face to face with the robot of the hour. He's crash landed here. Uh, Obviously not in the best condition with the arm detached. You don't have to worry though because it's fixed in no time. What quickly follows is a team up between this bunny and Bimo. Not only that, but there's also this third character who has an eye and can shapeshift into pretty much anything you'd think of. From a stylish hat to a loud megaphone, Bimo is here to save the entire world from destruction. I will save your terrible land. It does need a saving, correct? Yes. The chef is here to help. Tell me what you need. Bimo, there's a pot in danger. You can swim, right? Yes, but badly. Get it out! As you'll notice, an important part of the world structure is these little pods, each of them with a completely different type of environment. Chances are we're gonna keep getting a change of scenery, with Bimo and Bunny Friend journeying through them and doing whatever it takes to save everyone. Also, I just want to take a second to appreciate this shot. Things are going to turn into absolute chaos and you can honestly feel the emotion right here. This is an evolution of the original series and it's safe to say we're gonna see some strong expressions in the art. That's always really fun. While watching these scenes, there are so many new things. New characters, new places, new ways of life and situations. It's hard to take everything in. Kind of feels like we're a complete outsider, which makes sense because we step right into Bimo's shoes and he's feeling the same way. We aren't familiar with too much outside the land of Ooh, and Distant Lands gives us the opportunity to figure out more than we could ever dream of. What else is happening within the Adventure Time universe besides all of Finn and Jake's escapades? It's time to find out. I'm good. Adventure Time Distant Labs, BMO, coming soon. The trailer ends with this shot of a gold heart. Now, if you haven't seen Adventure Time, then it may not mean anything to you, but this is an important part of Bimo on the inside. It basically shows that he's not just any robot. He has the ability to experience emotions and genuinely feels like a living creature. It's also worth mentioning the situation with Bimo's creator, Mo. He passed away in Adventure Time, but his final wish was to have his memory disc shot to space in a rocket. Well, that's exactly what happened in the very final episode, which means there's an opening for that to be addressed in Distant Land. It may not have a massive appearance in terms of the storyline, but I think it could work as a really interesting easter egg, especially with Bimo now in space. One of the things you'll realize about the first trailer in Distant Lands is that Finn and Jake are nowhere to be found. Despite the episodes lasting a full hour long, it seems like our main heroes aren't playing a big role here, and instead, they're just gonna show up later. The trailer scenes focus entirely on Bimo and Bunny saving everyone from this deadly space emergency, so yeah, all the other characters we know and love are being put to the side. For now, we're gonna follow their adventures at some point later in the series. Now you might be wondering when exactly all this takes place. We know it's after the finale. Honestly, I think it's gonna be a thousand years later. To prove that point, let's take a look at this shot. Right here is Cuber, or at least he looks like Cuber. He's the Grables dude that constantly appeared throughout Adventure Time, and he lives a thousand years in the future, so that's cool. Further evidence for this timeline theory arrives with the bunny girl and shape-shifting sidekick. That feels like a certain combo we know. No. Hmm, I wonder who they could be. Okay, if Come Along With Me is anything to go by, then yeah, this duo is always reincarnated as different beings. That's why I think we're about to watch a BMO adventure a thousand years in the future. But at the end of the day, this still has that incredible Adventure Time feel. We are entering a brand new place, which means exploration into the characters that live there. Of course, all of this is canon in the world of Adventure Time. It tells events after the series finale, so you should probably be aware of what happened before if you want the best experience. But overall, the first episode of Distant Lands looks like it'll be a wild ride. Seeing a return to Adventure Time so soon after the finale is weird. I'm not gonna complain though. This is different enough from the original series to stand out on its own. Are you looking forward to Distant Lands? What do you think's gonna happen in this BMO episode? Let's talk in the comments. 
But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.